In this analysis video, we're going to introduce the CompGeom tool, which is basically a geometry computation algorithm packaged along with OpenVSP that not only produces a tri an intersected triangulated mesh of either the shown set on the screen, all components, or some predefined group of geometries, it will also calculate the theoretical and wetted areas and volumes of the set that you've chosen. Now, CompGeom is not necessarily a standalone tool in OpenVSP. It's also leveraged by several other analyses within the program. So things like, say, VSP arrow panel method is going to use CompGeom to produce a triangulated mesh in order to run the thick surface mode. If you need wetted areas for something like the parasite drag tool, again, CompGeom is being called in the background to produce those numbers so that the parasite drag calculations can be done. So CompGeom is actually an integral part of the OpenVSP analysis toolchain. So let's take a quick look at how to use this. We come to analysis and the CompGeom selection there. We've got our CompGeom window where you will always be producing a text file from these outputs, but you also have the option of producing a CSV if you want. The output window is included here. It's listed as parasite drag output. And here's where you'll find the area and volume breakdown for totals by component and by surface. These options down here are for a normal set, which is effectively triangulating and intersecting the surfaces the way that they are shown here on the screen. And then there is a degen set. The degen set is basically like running degen geom on the model itself. So for things like wings, fuselages, whatever, for say a vortex lattice mode, it's going to collapse those down to their representative camber degen surfaces. And so if you want to have a mixed comp geom where you do an intersection of say the camber degen surface of wings, but you want the fuselage to remain thick, you can choose two different sets of components and run this with one click. For right now, we're just going to choose all the shown components and leave the degen set alone. I'm also going to include subsurfaces because I have a constant subsurface line here identifying this section as a separate surface than that of the nose. So let's look at what happens when we click execute. So what's happened is CompGeom has come in, it's run the intersections for all of the components and triangulated the mesh accordingly. And that's for the wings, the tails, everything. And it's broken the fuselage into two separate surfaces, just like we wanted it to with the subsurface. Now, if we look at the breakdown here, we've got the theoretical and wetted areas and volumes for the fuselage the vertical horizontal tails and the wing. And you'll notice that wing includes both the left and right sides and we have the total build up here. You also have the theoretical area and the wetted area by surface. And so each surface of the component is going to be broken down and listed here in case you want to compare say the left or the right section of the wing or some other component or a control surface. All of that will be down here. This warning at the bottom where it's talking about open meshes merged is just saying that we had say a wing and a horizontal tail that had symmetry applied where it was flipped and mirrored across the XZ plane. It said that that was an open mesh and it merged with something else. That's all that warning means. It's not harming anything. It's just for your information. So while we're on it, let's go ahead and delete this mesh, select everything and show. And what we're going to do now, is go to bodies for our normal set and that's really just the fuselage and the ggen set we're going to choose this which is our vertical our horizontal and our wings so let's look at what happens when we do this what that did is it made those camber degen surfaces for the wing and the tails and intersected those with the fuselage so now we have a mixed triangulated mesh of thick and thin surfaces now this is very useful for trying to run, say, the VSP Geom format in a hybrid mode in VSP Aero. So that's a couple of different ways that you can use CompGeom just from the GUI to produce meshes, either fully thick surface, fully degen, or a mix of both, and for how to compute theoretical and wetted areas and volumes.